What's up, you squares? <laughs> Welcome back to Daytime Reaction Season 4. We got Best of World Star Camera Episode 30 compilation now. It's been a while since I've done a reaction to a Best of World Star Camera. I think Daytime Reaction Season 2? I don't fucking know. I don't remember the last one I reacted to. I know I tried to react to Episode 29 and got interrupted so many times that I had to cancel out on that one and had to do a different reaction. But anyway. Best of World Star Camera, episode 30. If you want to watch the original video in its entirety, because I will be chopping parts out and pausing is imminent, because in these World Star videos, it's just a lot of shit that you got to give your opinions on, bro. It's a lot of fuck shit in these videos. But with that being said, let's see if we can get the like game up. Let's see if we can hit 10,000 likes. Nah, fuck that. Let's go even higher. Let's go 20,000 likes. No, fuck that. 30,000 likes. No, let's go even higher. 50,000 likes! No, I'm just bullshitting. But in all seriousness, had to hit you with that Lispy Jimmy there. In all seriousness, like up the video. YouTube's algorithm is fucked up. You know, it's based on likes and comments now, and not like views like it's like it used to be. Or like it should be, I should say. You don't like people's videos up. It's just, just won't show, man. Let's hop into the video, shall we? Let go. I don't know why I had my controller in my head like I was getting ready to play this shit on the PS4. <laughs> Damn! What in the hell? That's what your dumb ass did. <laughs> they violated the lunchroom. Or violated her in the lunchroom. Goddamn. Granny don't play. She wanted the son of Gratis. <laughs> she wanted the old school son of Gratis that don't give a fuck. Close but no cigar. Ow. Oh! Nigga. That. Oh, damn. Truck got stuck on the lane divider. Ooh! Fuck! Excuse me, sir. Can I borrow some of your height, like, for like one day, just like one leg? Can I borrow some of your color so I can jump? Oh, God. Oh, God. this fucked up. Today. Mom, she wasn't too happy. And Sally, this is why she wasn't too happy. You got I, what does that mean? You got I probably did not anyway. Sure Hold him hostage. What? And what? You got a knife holding me hostage. I'm trying. And what? And what? She swing. Don't fuck with the crazy bitches, man. Is somebody going to get what? What do you have to say for yourself, Carla? What do you have to say? Oh, Carla. Caught sucking your fucking ex boyfriend's dick, you fucking dirty ass slut. Yeah, you fucking ruined everything. Say hi to the camera, Carla. Say hi, you <laughs> so how do you bone for me? That's what he said. Rainfall that we can have if it slows down considerably more rainfall. All of those are factors. So um, you know because of <laughs> how this has shifted, we've had some changes. First of all, he's supposed to be doing a sign language. This motherfucker throwing up gang signs and shit. What the hell? <laughs> he caught. <laughs> <laughs> what in the fuck? Y'all doing some sorcery <laughs> shit now? Way up there. Made that shit on the power line. What the fuck? What in the he Okay, they this bottle flipping challenge is getting way out of hand. And they are some dude perfect shit. Hi Drake. Knock them ankles loose, baby! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you getting a little too overzealous, my dude my dude. Got him for twenty five hundred. They got Jeremiah playing in the background. Hell no. He doesn't. This shit crazy, man. Man. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Still a Michael, but forgot it. About his brother, girl. Who 
gonna go far. I can't laugh at that, bro. Hey, yo, I can't shot. laugh at that. I typed in Retro Air Jordan 1. Walmart trying to come up. Watch. I'm about to click that shit. Yo, they really selling that shit. Only one left. So, seven sixty nine. Walmart trying to come man, up. Man, you twice. Yo. Get the fuck out of here, man. Seven sixty nine for some J's. They don't even see the size. That's come crazy, on, man. Bro. Excuse the Bernie Mac references. I'm wearing this shirt, so you can't help it, man. Last night, me and Boo Daddy, we went out to the bar, right? We chilling, we macking. Niggas go outside to smoke a cigarette. Two bitches start arguing. Okay, none of my business. Okay. None of his business. That's none of my Both business. Proceeds to knock this other girl out at our feet. You know me. None of my business. Just don't touch me. What does fucking friendly ass Boo Daddy do? He gonna help the little girl up. Why? Because he wants me to kill him. Oh, it because it's the right thing to do. Captain Save a Ho? In the flesh, people. In the flesh. That ain't none of my business, bro. I, I just sipped the tea on that one. Why, what she got knocked out for? She could have been violated. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If a bitch it doesn't matter you what your name is. Ground. I don't care. Am I wrong? Mm. Am I wrong? Ladies, if a bitch falls at your man's feet and he so tastes like her, that, uh, that pop rice with tea, bro. You're not gonna be tight? You should be worried about me not falling in your ass. What? <laughs> what type of fuck is it? Dude, high on smack with his daughter in the dollar store? Drugs are a hell of a drug, bro. <laughs> fuck is your hair on? Was there all that book of sugar? Hmm? Don't say shit because I said heroin. I'm from the side. That's how we say it. Heroin. We don't say heroin. Oh, proper like y'all do. We say heroin. Just like when y'all say jewels, we say jewels. <laughs> Just say it. I'm gonna need to call CPS on his ass, bro. That is fucked. Father. Bruh, I feel so bad for this little girl. Her dad is like fucked up on something in this Dollar Tree in Jacksonville. Got it. Like, Let's get these uh, Call of Duty videos ready. Alright, we all good. And it's out of rendering. You ready to upload them in a second? Go, bruh. Only in Jacksonville, bruh. No, not just in Jacksonville. <laughs> not just in Jacksonville, bruh. I mean, that's always in Florida. I see shit like that in Orlando. But it ain't, it ain't just in Jacksonville. It's in D.C. too, fam. But anyway, let us go ahead and read some of these comments. It's the first time I ever got through one of these joints. These just subscribe. I, I can't help but think that World Star is starting to get a little violent ever since Vine started dying. It's not a lot of not a lot of funny shit anymore. It's just more cringy shit. And I mean that in a good way. You know, it's a lot of bone breaking. You got people fucking in these videos, which you'll most likely have to blur out. You know, you got people getting robbed, people fighting. It's too much, man. That's why I don't react to a lot of World Star shit that much anymore. You're going over the top now. You know, it's getting a little crazy. If I do say so myself. But let's go ahead and read some of these comments. Tony Spade says, rarely do I ever call the police, but that smacked ass dad needs to sit the, uh, sit the fuck down and another parent or guardian needs to come and get that girl, period. You damn skip it. The bitch on number 27 is a psycho bitch being, uh-huh, yeah, just talking about her man helping up another female. He's doing a good deed, bitch. Come on. I'm not even going to comment on that, man. Man, I'm, I'll just keep that to myself. Like I said, none of my business, big. 
Just sip the tea. Bars. At 4.38, ride the fuck out of bro. Yeah, that's the last comment I'm going to read because I'm getting ready to go on the little rant for a good second. Shit like that happens in D.C. all the time. Because motherfuckers in D.C., especially in the Southeast and Southwest, ain't got no goddamn money. They ain't got no job. It's hard to get a job out of this bitch. So they ain't got nothing better to do than to rob motherfuckers like you, rob motherfuckers like me. I've been robbed on two separate occasions. Well, I got robbed on one separate occasion. And I almost got robbed on another occasion. Now, first time I got robbed, I got robbed for a cell phone. Blackberry Curve. Just came out. Got it for my birthday. And I'm just getting out of school. I'm waiting on this fucking bus. You know, I'm supposed to be getting to work. Wasn't necessarily work. I was more or less volunteering. This boy who was in one of my classes, I'm not going to say his name, but this boy that was in one of my classes asked me, can he use my phone? His phone was fully charged. It had three goddamn batteries. You know, this was at the time where we had like prepaid phone shit where we had fucking minutes and whatnot. This is like 2008, 2009, something like that. And no, yeah, actually it was 2009. But he asked me, can I use my phone? And I said, nigga, you got your own phone. This is when I was, you know, heavily using the N-word before I toned that shit down a little bit. I still use it now. I only use it for entertainment purposes and comedy reasons, but that's besides the point. He asked me, can I use, he asked me, can he use my phone? I said, you got your own phone and you got three batteries. He said, I ain't got no minutes. Bullshit. You got minutes, motherfucker. I just seen you on the phone about five minutes ago. And he just grabs my phone and runs like a little bitch. And I chased him up and down the goddamn street and I lost him in like 30 seconds. And the next day he got suspended because even though I ain't with that snitch and shit, I'm not going to lie. I was a stool pigeon that day. I went back to the school and I snitched to the principal. So, yeah. Say what you want. I was a stool pigeon. In the words of Bernie Mac. I was a stool pigeon that day. Now, the second time I almost got robbed, it was by a smoke buddy, so to speak. I was just getting out of school, and I had the new Ken Griffiths that just came out. I wore the shoes after school, and I'm walking up the street getting ready to go to the corner store to go get a cigarette. Not a cigarette, black and mild. This is when I was smoking heavy on tobacco. And this dude walked up to me and said, hey, this is some nice kicks, cuz. What size is them? They was a size 10, but I lied to them and said they a size 8. Because actually was in like a size 8 and a half, size 9 at the time. But size 10 was the only size that they had. And my feet was getting bigger and I'm actually in a size 10 now. And he said, you lucky they ain't my size. I'm like, well, you luck I'm lucky they ain't your size. What you gonna do? <laughs> you know? So after that, I walk over to the bus stop and all of a sudden my smoke buddy, so to speak, came up to me and asked me for some money. I said, I ain't got no money. All I had was a dollar fifty. And I spent that on a black and mild. He said, I know you got some money, bro. Every day I come up here, you always got some money. Yeah, I know. Every day I come up here, I got some money. And that's only for a black and mild. And or a lighter if I'm missing one. You know, y'all motherfuckers be stealing my lighters and shit. Every time we smoke weed, you know. This is when I was smoking heavy on weed. But this motherfucker gonna reach in my goddamn pockets. Stole one of my black and milds and my lighter and walked away. Then he came back over here and he asked me for money again. And I said, I ain't got no goddamn money, bro. How many fucking times I got to tell you? And he said, whatever, man. Come with us so you can smoke this blunt. And like a fucking idiot, I went ahead and followed him. And we went into this alley. And I had my hand clutching on my pocket knife. And he said, I'm going to ask you again. And I knew he ain't had no fucking blunt. I just wanted to see what was going on. But I was stupid enough to fucking follow him into the goddamn alleyway. But he said, I'm going to ask you again. Because I don't, don't want to hurt you, bro. Where the money at? I'm like, I ain't got no fucking money, fam. He said, I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to have my mans right here put you in L. And, you know, the L is slang for sleeper hold, you know, this shit. So, I told him, I ain't got no goddamn money. So, he told his mans, so to speak, put me in the L. He got me in the L. I slipped out of it. He grabbed my, he grabbed my leg, trying to check my shoes and shit, got my shoe off. I pulled out my pocket knife. Started swinging and he ran like a little bitch, dropped my shoe and said, I'm going to get your ass next time. I'm like, no, the fuck you not. Grabbed my shoe, put it on. I just walked all the way home. I didn't even feel like catching the bus. I said, man, fuck this. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up like a condom. I'll see y'all in the next reaction. I'm out, man. Wait, wrong fucking hand gesture. What, what the fuck is this? I'm out, man. Please, fuck Donald Trump. Toodles. It's in my DNA because my pops like to get fucked up the same way. It's in my DNA, cause my moms like to get fucked up the same way. DNA.
DNA. Bye, have a great time.